Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today we are going to be talking about all of the fragrances that I wore last week. So I've got a couple of ones, I've got a couple in here that I wore just because I was craving but then um, I wore a lot. When I pulled out all of the fragrances for my fall transition video, like there were a whole bunch of them that I couldn't put away until I wore them because I was, I, ugh, I was just craving them so much. So Anyways, I'm gonna jump right in. Um, the first fragrance, well, these are in no order. I couldn't even tell you like what days I wore them or when, um, but yeah. So the first one we're going to talk about is Viva La Juicy La Fleur. And I love this. This is a huge bottle. This is a five ounce bottle that I picked up from Fragrance Net at some point for, I think I paid like 20, four dollars or something for it it was crazy inexpensive um this is just a really this is a really beautiful clean slightly green floral it's not typical juicy it's not like super sweet it's not it's really hardly sweet at all it's more um fresh crisp it's like a very fresh crisp light floral that has a really beautiful like it's like the floor the flowers and the stems and leaves it's just really really beautiful like i said it's very much a departure for juicy um and what they especially for a viva la juicy it's definitely a departure from any other viva la juicy that i've ever smelled it's really really beautiful um this is one that i pull or that i reach for when i just don't know what i want to wear especially in the summertime because it does great in the heat it lasts forever this easily i mean this performs so well for being such like a light like beautiful crisp kind of floral um, this can easily get me through a 10 hour work day. It just lasts forever. It's just a great like workhorse kind of perfume, um, which that's why, and I'm so glad that I have a five ounce bottle of it because it is such a just great workhorse for, in my collection. So anyways, that is Viva La Juicy. I wore that on a day that I just did, it was hot. It was like in the nineties. And I just couldn't think of anything else that I wanted to wear. So I just grabbed that and sprayed it on. Um, another one that I grabbed and sprayed on, it was another like 90 degree day. And I was just feeling like, I don't know, I was wanting to wear a floral fragrance. Um, I sprayed on Dior forever and ever. And this is another one that this is deceptive. It's, it's a very light, slightly sweet floral, like a true floral but it and it smells very light like it's going to perform badly like it's you're not going to you know you're going to have to reapply it a whole bunch but this one actually performs really well for me i can get a good six eight hours out of this now i do over spray um i've only worn this i've had this bottle for a while i've only worn it maybe i don't know four or five times and that's how much i've already gone through because I do over spray quite a bit with this one, like 10 or 12 sprays, but I'll smell this forever. Like I'll smell this on me for hours and hours. It's just, it's another one of those fragrances like the Viva La Juicy. It's a great workhorse fragrance. Um, it's just, it's just a really beautiful, pleasant, slightly sweet floral fragrance. Um, yeah, it was a blind buy for me. I found it on Mercari and I just grabbed it because it was a really good price. I didn't know what, how I was going to feel about it, but I really do enjoy it. So it's a great, um, it's a great easy reach, especially in high heat. So anyways, that is Dior forever and ever. Okay. Now we're going to get into the fragrances that I pulled for my transition video that I could not put away until I wore them. The first one is, uh, this is Lolita Lempica El Lame. This is the EDP formulation. Um, this is beautiful. This is primarily coconut and myrrh. That's what I smell more than anything else is coconut and myrrh. So it's kind of this like beautiful, slightly resinous coconut fragrance. There are some flowers in here as well. I think it's got like frangipani and maybe some jasmine or something but yeah it's primarily coconut and myrrh 
Um, I did wear this to bed one evening or I wore it around the house one evening and to bed. But anyways, it's just beautiful. It's a really beautiful, like kind of resinous coconutty fragrance. If you're into uh, fragrances like that, I think you would like it. It's really gorgeous. So anyways, that is Lolita Lempica El Lame. Another one I wore around the house because I was just craving this one so much after I talked about it is Britney Spears' Private Show. Um, oh my gosh, I love this fragrance. This is like a creamy, it's like a creamy coffee. It's like a sweet latte kind of fragrance. It's just really beautiful. Nothing groundbreaking. I mean, I've gone through so much of this though. I've only had this for maybe like a year and a half, and I've only worn it a handful of times, but I just love it. I overspray it every time I wear it. Longevity on this one is pretty darn good too. I can easily get six or eight hours out of this overspraying. It's just yummy. It's sweet, creamy latte. That's what it smells like, a sweet, creamy latte. I love it. And it's so affordable. It's so worth having. So anyways, that is Britney Spears' private show. I wore that in high heat too, and I don't even care. It's so beautiful. Okay, this next one. Oh, you guys are going to laugh when I tell you what my husband said about this. Um, so the next one I wore is Sophia from Sophia Vergara. And I think I wore this on my last day working at BMW. And... I love this fragrance. It gets compared a lot to Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. But I, I honestly, this is like, uh, this doesn't have nearly as much patchouli as Coco Mademoiselle does. And Coco Mademoiselle is a lot stronger and a little bit sharper smelling than this. This is very soft, well-rounded. I love this though. And I also almost get like a tea vibe from this. I almost get like a black tea, yeah, like a black tea vibe from this. I absolutely love this fragrance and it lasts forever. This got me through an entire work day, no problem. But I will tell you, um, I sprayed this on in the morning. I do overspray most fragrances, but I sprayed this on in the morning and it was hilarious. Um, I think my husband texted me about an hour later and he was like, why did you smell, or why did you spray that, um, what do you say? I think he said, why did you spray that stinky perfume in here this morning? So he's definitely not a fan of this, but I don't care because I am, I love this. It's a beautiful fragrance. Um, yeah, if you like a slightly musky uh, floral with patchouli, you would like it such an affordable gem too. So anyways, that is Sophia from Sophia Vergara, but my husband's not a fan. He's not a fan of a lot of fragrances that I like though. Okay. The next one that I wore, oh, I love this fragrance. I, as soon as I pulled this out, I knew I could not put it away until I wore it. This is Chloe Absolute de Parfum and I love this. This is Mirabelle and Oak Moss. It's, um, this is another kind of musky, slightly sweet. It's very grown up smelling. That's another thing I love about this. This is very like grown woman smelling. This lasts absolutely forever. I got, this got me through an entire work day. This is a 12 plus hour fragrance for sure without even having to overspray. I can do like five or six sprays of this and that's all you need. It's just beautiful. I love it. It's, um, as far as how it compares to the original, this is much, uh, richer. It's much more, it's much more like syrupy smelling. It's, it's got more oak moss in it. It's definitely not as bright as the original. I just love it. I love this fragrance and I love this bottle, but I'm a huge fan of Chloe fragrances in general. So it's no surprise that I love it so much. Okay. I'm going to save the one that I enjoyed the most for last because ugh, I enjoyed it so much. I wore it twice. In fact, I enjoyed it so much. I wore it twice last week. 
Um, but first, we're going to talk about Rose Jam. So I just wore this a few days ago. Um, I absolutely love, love Rose Jam. This is such a like warm, it's like a warm, cozy rose blanket. It's jammy. It really is like a jammy rose, but it's not overly sweet. It's a little bit spiced and it's got some citrus on the top, I think lemon. It's also got geranium oil in it, which geranium gives rose a real earthiness. So it's got like this earthy, this like earthy, slightly sweet, jammy, spiced vibe. And it's just stunning. I love this. This is an absolute beast too. This is, this is a fragrance that you can spray on again, maybe four or five sprays. And you will smell this until you go to bed that night. And then maybe in the morning when you wake up. I mean, it is persistent. I adore this fragrance. One of my favorite rose fragrances. I just think it is so cozy. Well, you if you saw my cozy rose video, I talked about this one because it's just such a beautiful, comforting rose. Oh, I love it. So anyways, that is Rose Jam from Lush. And then last but not least, I enjoyed wearing this fragrance so much the first day that I wore it that I wore it again the next day. This is Shalimar Cologne from Guerlain. And oh my gosh, I love this. This is, it's Shalimar because I don't have a Shalimar flanker that doesn't have that Shalimar DNA. But this is bright. This is citrusy. It's creamy. It smells like, this really does smell like a lemon meringue pie or something without the gourmand aspect of like the crust, if that makes any sense. It's just like fluffy meringue and lemon curd and a ton of vanilla. I love it. It is so light and bright and airy but it's still so cozy and comforting. I just love this fragrance. I adore it. I enjoyed it so much. I wore it twice. Um, longevity on this one isn't the best. I only get maybe, I mean, it's not horrible. I can get maybe six hours out of it before I have to reapply. Um, yeah, which I don't mind. I usually wear this one at home just because I'm not brave enough to wear Shalimar at all, of any kind. Um, well, to work. I hadn't been brave enough to wear it to work. I did wear this out though. I forget where I went. I think I went to, uh, yeah, I went to TJ Maxx and Ross that day. So I did wear it out. Oh, I just love this so much though. So anyways, this one works really well in the heat because of all the citrus. Um, and it's a light, it's like a very light version of Shalimar, but I think it'll work beautifully in the winter too or in the cooler months. I just love it. It's cozy and beautiful. So anyways, that is Shalimar Cologne. And that is going to be it, guys. Those are all of the fragrances that I wore last week. I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.